Welcome to game three between Whip versus Zen. Zen going from, uh, for some quick cheese and Whip trying to get greedy ends up paying for it. This is going to be on Allegro, which natural expansion, uh, wide gap. Honestly, feels like these are all either four player or three player isometric maps that are not all that dissimilar and kind of more macro oriented. Still got a favor Whip overall. We'll see if Zen has some more cheese to pull out, but it would be hard to pull off cheese a second time with Whip a little bit more on guard. I swear I wish I could remember what the... the So it's... If there was like some sort of... What are the words for that? You know, the, the weird audio things where you can remember for remembering stuff? Where it's like depot on top of barracks is a solid block, but supply depot underneath barracks is not. Every once in a while, my brain flips out as far as what the proper Terran blocking building stuff is at various positions. Getting a raid from Zeke. Mnemonic, that is what it is called. Appreciated. I cannot wait for the next BSL season, because I'm hoping it's Zeke's year, by the way. I'm just going to throw that bias out here right now. Just heads up. I really hope. I really want to see a Zerg BSL champion, and I think Zeke's the one to do it. Anyway. <clears throat> Looks like this time we aren't going to see straight off the bat quick cheese from Zen instead sticking for interior base builds. This time Whip you can see playing a little bit more defensively and playing uh, just in case so you'd have the little gap where you can run the Marines back and forth. There's actually somewhere out there, and this is kind of what I like referencing everyone. I, I should go reference it again sometime. Looks like Zen, by the way, setting up for a 12 Nexus to get a quick economic bump. Whip going ahead and tacking on his refinery. Let's see if he's able to defend it though because Whip looks like he's gonna end up scouting bottom right hand corner first. So, and Whip is one of those guys that he knows all the responses to this gateway alongside. Let's see if it's a double gateway defense or if there's gonna be a gateway forge. Honestly, I kinda like the forge defenses, oddly enough. Three SCV in gas. And also the timing of this, so seize the 12 Nexus, the ti that's unfortunate for Zen, because the timing of this, this also gives Whip a lot of time to respond. He has a lot of options. Let's see if he opts to go for aggressive two factory play, if he wants to just go for a bull rush with a couple Marines right off the bat, or if he's just going to go for a single Vulture. I think oftentimes what you can do is you can just kind of go Vultures, SCVs, Marines, try to establish a bunker. So two gateway. A simulator warping in. Still no pylons down near the natural expansion to provide any support with the shield battery. Probes making their way across. Whip stealing a bit of minerals. But anyway, somewhere out there, there's a map that actually shows the various building. Like, the it, it gives a numeric value to the buildings and, like, what how, how much surface area they have, essentially, so you can know what qualifies as a blockade for what units and whatnot. So bunker on the way, SCVs have been pulled. One Marine walking this direction, or sorry, two Marines walking this direction. Zealot able to get out in front to ward that back, but it's gonna be one Zealot and a handful of probes. Looks like three probes off the line to try to defend this. I think that the probe's actually able to get on top of that Marine initially, and they're keeping that bunker down for a good bit of time here. However, Bunker now up. Probe's doing a great job of blocking that Marine out, though. Is he going to get that second Marine? Five health left. No. Two Zealots now. Third, second Marine trying to get back there, but the Probe's getting all sorts of damage done. So we got four SCV left. It's going to be close. The Zealots going to go ahead and pull out. Some Probes have been taken out. Three Zealots now rejoining the fight. This Zealot's going to take the main amount of damage as they pull back in, so... Keep in mind, there's still some group repair that can happen here. So Zen going to need to do some incredible micro. SCV accidentally going in the bunker. Actually, sorry, that might be intentional to try to keep them alive and away from the focus fire. But once this bunker, if it gets taken out, those are some very weak Marines. Unfortunately, all the Zealots have been wiped out. Two more Zealots coming off the line. Still no damage. And oh, a Vulture coming up now. And I think that is going to be insufficient. Zen going to GG right there. So Whip, able to take a quick game three. Mm. It's hard to defend when Terran gets that initial scout, especially against a skilled player like Whip. I was hoping Zen would be able to pull it off. 
unfortunately, is then going now to the loser's bracket. Whip will continue on the winner's bracket. Well played regardless. Glad he was able to pull a match. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.